As we head to Tunisia, where the country's central bank has proposed to review the country's exchange legislation as part of its general outline to work with various institutions concerned. This is an attempt to gradually lift exchange restrictions that hinder some transactions with foreign countries. And let's have more details of that in this report. The central bank proposed as part of its general guidelines on the review of exchange legislation to work with the various structures concerned, so as to gradually lift exchange restrictions that hinder some transactions with foreign countries, for institutions and individuals. This is an important project because it will provide additional resources to the state fund. There are millions in foreign exchange circulating in the parallel market and abroad. The state, as well as thousands of Tunisians, will benefit from the amnesty. The central bank is also planning to bring about some changes aimed at completing the liberalization of current operations to introduce more flexibility and transparency in the exchange regulations. The review of the exchange law, which requires the amendment of law number 18 of 1976 and the implementing texts, is mainly linked to the Tunisian state policy in this area. The central bank aims to implement more transparency. The Finance Committee of the Tunisian Parliament has rejected the proposal and urged the government to introduce a new bill. The Tunisian Parliament is not willing to encourage tax evasion and to legalize the situation of people who made millions in illegal ways. The central bank wants to give incentives to some businessmen who do not deserve it. We will back any project that favors real transparency. According to the central bank governor, the amnesty covers investments by non-resident foreigners in Tunisia, such as the publication of circular number 14 of 2018 on the digitization of the investment form as a bank document allowing non-resident investors to benefit from the transfer guarantee. Regarding transfers abroad made by Tunisian institutions for foreign investment, the maximum amount was set at $1 million when financing with the business account in foreign exchange for exporting companies. Tunisia's foreign currency assets reached nearly $7 billion, which corresponds to 115 days of imports.